What is up, everybody? Brad here from ClueSandChart.com. Just going to do another quick tutorial how-to video. This one, I am going to kind of just go through a brief rundown of how to use Vaughn Live. Obviously, we've been using this website now instead of Blog TV since Blog TV shut down um, for a couple months now. So I, I like to think I've got a pretty good feel for it. And for those of you who are still kind of new or rough to the site, Hopefully this will help some of you out learn a few things. So, first thing, if you've never even looked at the page we are looking at right now, and you want to know how do we get there, well, while we are broadcasting, obviously we have the big banner at the top of our forms here. Obviously this one says we will be live at 6.15 Eastern Standard Time tonight, but once we go live, that will flip over and say we are now live on CNC TV. So just throwing that out there, guys, that is where you can find us because when you click that banner, it is a direct link to take you to our Vaughn Live page. So that is the easiest way to get there. Or if you really want, just at the top, you can type in vaughnlive.tv slash Chara. But if you're lazy like me, the banner link always works the best. Now, what do you do if you don't have a Vaughn Live account and this is your first time ever going there? Well, I'm glad you asked. The create account step here is as simple as it is on any other site. You just go to create account, fill out all the appropriate sections here, what you want your username to be. I recommend if you're going to do it, you you know use the same user ID you have on our web forms, cluster.com, just to keep it simple. So obviously I'm Slapstick there, so if I'm going to sign off, I'm going to sign up under Slapstick here, assuming it's available fill out the proper functions and go from there. Obviously I already have an account, so I'm not gonna register an account here, but this is very easy to figure out. So once you are there and you are logged in, you have an account. As you can see, my account here, Klutz and Chara. I'm the only one on today because I'm special right now. Um, there's a few features that are different from Blog TV that we got used to. Namely, group break links. It's one of the number one asked questions I've had since I have started using Vaughn. Now, they're not in the title anymore since Vaughn Live doesn't have a title. So what we have to do is, I've got a little more detailed link, but you gotta scroll down. And as you can see, I've got this handy little text box below the video screen where I keep updated constantly with, ever, with whatever breaks we're going on. Obviously right now, today's June 4th, so for tonight I got these breaks and there's the links for them all and obviously tomorrow's breaks since it's a new release I've got those posted there as well. That being said this all isn't always going to be here because of the um, fact that it's a new release so this part will always be here and of course just some general information for everybody including our broadcast hours. So that's where we've got that posted. now. The chatters box here, as you can see, this is where you type things and stuff and whatever the hell you want to type or whatever you you want to contribute to the chat, submit your requests, whatever, you can do it right through here. But if you want to know who's online, there is a chatters box, which as you can see, we don't see it right now. All you do is go below the text box, click where it says chatters. <gasps> And right here, when the room is full, is where all the user IDs will appear. So obviously it's just me in here right now, but when I'm broadcasting, this will be full of everybody. Now let's say while you are, while I am broadcasting, someone is really irritating you. You just don't want to hear a damn thing they have to say, which let's be honest, happens quite often. The beauty of Vaughn Live is they actually have a function where you don't have to see it. So you click their username, and if you scroll down to the bottom right, this ignore button, you click that, their posts will no longer appear to you. So, you know, that way if there's just one person who's really irritating, but the rest of the chat's going great for you, you can just click their name, click this magical little ignore button, and you don't have to hear or read anything else they type. Now, <clears throat> Another thing too that I'm gonna get going, and this is the downside of online, is they do not have a private message system here. They do not have a PM system. So, if you need to get a hold of me or another member via private message, PM, whatever you call it, 
there's a way to do it. Okay, I don't know what this error message is, but that can go away. Random time for that to come up. Anyways, so you want to private message them. You go back over to the CNC forms. You click on your, I just go to my new messages here. There's two ways to do it, I'll show you both, but here's what I do. So you go to new messages. So you're in your inbox. And you go to new PM. So now you have the PM window open. You type in their user ID here. And then you just put in your title. Then you can type in whatever you want here. And then you just send it, and there you go. So that's the one way to do it. Now that obviously is with you manually typing their name in. Now there's another way to do it. So you don't go to your inbox, you go find their user ID wherever it is. I usually will just use active users. Find the user ID, click it. So then that will take you to their profile page. Right here you will see contact. You will send private message. And then you type in whatever you want. And submit. So and again, those are the two ways that we PM now since Vaughn Live doesn't have the thing. But there is your kind of brief rundown on how exactly Vaughn Live works in as uh, quick a time as I could possibly do. So there we go.